Um, the Indian story. I think that it's very important because it shows the way um, when he's raising, he shows in his two ways that he is kind of, he's very selfish and he's kind of, he's proving how he is as well. And that, you know, like, I mean, hopefully the Russians are going to be for him and then how we can tell him and things like that. You know, it's just a weird situation. Well, do you think there's a danger of Russian not getting involved if they keep the new house in the um, I mean, I was in the Zionist in the Libyan, and you could also do feel that at this point, and it would carry out fascinations on military personality. And this is the point of the Zionist in the Middle East. I think he's an angel. Do you think? That the same will take place when you can see the train going to turn from Lake. It probably will, but like, they never seem to do something wrong. They just, they have tanks and they do some places, and then when you're riding to something or when you go to a trip to something, and they back spur on again, so it doesn't seem to make much difference how many summits they have. They never seem to get anywhere. How do you feel? Or like, do you ever think about it, or do you worry about the possibility of a nuclear war? Yeah, because, um, you know, when Ronald Reagan says, you know, well, we could let off missile whenever we want, but this is a very, um, you know, selfish attitude to have because he doesn't seem to realize that if he lets off one missile, like, it's not just the enemies and the Russians that are going to be killed, like, everyone is going to be in danger, and even himself, you know, so, but he doesn't really seem to be thinking of everyone, it's just the sort of souls. And um, America looks powerful and that he's on top all the time. That's all he seems to be caring about. The big home story yesterday was Michael Keating joining the Progressive Democrats. How does anybody feel about that? Well, it, it, it's really about the government story is that it's just Fianna Fáil breaking the law and two days from Fianna Fáil breaking the law. Um, and it shows that the politicians now are not getting disillusioned with the politics and that they're trying to find something new. And there's pressure being put on politicians to do something new and to change the system a little bit. Well, in other words, say people are very disillusioned with politics in this country. Do you think you would vote the way your parents vote? Or have you made up your own ideas about politics and politicians in this country? Oh. Children can vote the way they want to vote, not the way their parents want to vote. They shouldn't always believe what politicians say, like, I'll oh, give you this and I'll give you that. They should vote the way they want to vote, not the way their parents should tell them what politicians, whatever they say. And how do you think you'd make up your mind how you're going to vote? Well, I'd look at the, um, the state of the country from every angle and see what other politicians the talk that they're going to do. And they say they're going to do it and they won't do it. The community school in Bell is making history itself this week. Can you tell us about it, Doctor? Yeah. Well, we're coming from the ranks in the home and like, uh, making the major potential. Like, obviously, we're doing well. We're doing well and now. I'm probably, they probably do this year. We're heavily defeated last year. But, Maybe this year they come to see it for years now. So, who are you playing on Sunday? I'm playing in Darby College and it was a position like. Have you played them before? We played them this year in a challenge match, but the beach was very kind, but hopefully, when the day 15 goes right, we may go for it. So, this is the college's semi final, and yes. this is in that? We'll be in the final with North Mon. Hopefully. <laughs>